So our mission is to provide a safe haven for children, youth, and families. In the Central District, inside A for Apple Learning Center. So this is the window that was affected. This is where they're pushing for peace and calling for a stop to the gun violence. It's trauma. I I'm traumatized. I, I think about it all the time. Apollonia, Washington is referring to October 16th. 2.38 p.m. to be exact. Gunfire outside of her center that was filled with children that day shattered the window and crushed the community. We weren't physically in injured, but mentally, it's, it's a lot. When is this going to stop? Why? On the same street, the same questions were echoed this week. On Tuesday, less than a half mile away, police responding to reports of gunfire found a flipped SUV. And the night before, Central District neighbors reported shots fired with bullet holes in cars and homes. You can't control when you're spraying bullets everywhere what, what you're going to hit. Victoria Beach, with the African American Community Advisory Council for Seattle Police, heard directly from the community. They're fearful and they want to talk and they want to talk with um, the Seattle Police Department, which I, I get it. I mean, I'm, I'm nervous. I see that it's worse than usual, especially with our young people. After the horrible day that happened here, Apollonia has not lost hope. That's why when she replaced the shattered glass, she made sure to include a powerful message. Everyone's noticing that the devs there and I hope it brings awareness that we are for peace. We want to see peace in our community and we're going to make sure that we support our community. Now, she grew up in this neighborhood. She's raising her children here, and she says she's not going anywhere. Instead, she says she wants to work with the community and with police to make the Central District safer. That is what they're going to be talking about tonight, starting at 6 o'clock. Greg? Is, what's the data showing us, Natalie? Is it, is it telling us that violence is growing in the Central District? The most recent data we have from Seattle Police shows that for this year, the Central District has seen more than double the number of reported shootings compared to last year. Greg. So that seems like a yes. All right, Natalie Swaby in Seattle tonight. Natalie, thank you.